Hello, I'm Cliff Hall from Cortex with another Snack Video Edition. In this edition, I'll show you how to process a return for replacement in Acumatica 2017 R2. To create a return for replacement order, it's very similar to the process for return for credit, but with an addition of one other step to send the replacement item back to the customer. Starting from our dashboard, we'll go ahead and click on the icon for sales orders. And we'll do a right click here to a new sales order in a new tab. Once we've done that, we're going to go into the order type and place RR for return for replacement. We'll take it off hold and note the date is 11-3-2017. This will become important when we show what happens to inventory values on hand. We've chosen our customer and the next thing to do is go ahead and click on add invoice to choose the invoice for which they're going to return the product. We'll go ahead and take this one, click the checks box and click add and close. Notice over here, you've got a little button that tells you there's not enough inventory um, on this order for what you have. For instance, we've already returned one or two, but we just want to return one here. So we'll just bypass this and choose one. Notice the dot goes away. After that, the next step is to go ahead and save it. Once we've saved it after taking off hold, we want to receive the items the customer is sending back. So under Actions, we'll click that and create Receipt. We'll choose the warehouse to which we want to receive and click OK. When that occurs, the shipment screen shows up. Notice here the operation is Receipt even though it's the shipment screen. Once we've confirmed everything is back in order from the customer, we'll go ahead and click Actions, Confirm Shipment. Upon confirming shipment, and because we're not going to create an, uh, an invoice here, and because it's a replacement, so there's no change in dollars, we need to update the inventory. So you click on Actions, Update IN to do just that. The next step is to uh, send out the new shipment of a replacement item to the customer. So we have to go back to our original order we were just working on. By clicking the Orders tab and clicking the actual sales order, it takes us back to that screen. From here, notice that we have one receipt already taken care of, but we have one other line, which is a retail uh, out of the retail warehouse for the same item that does have an open quantity. So we'll go up to Actions and click Create Shipment, which will send that one extra item to the customer. Notice it's coming out of the same warehouse retail. And once that's done, and because of the same issues before, there's no invoice here, we just need to go ahead and click Confirm shipment. And then lastly, update inventory. Let's see what happened to the inventory balances. Clicking on inventory valuation report, we'll run the report and we'll see that for today we have a couple of them. One was one I did before. This is the one we just did for return and issue of oh, items one and one one. That's all that's necessary to go ahead and create a return for replacement inside of Acumatica 2017 R2. Thank you for watching another Cortex Snack video. Subscribe below and find out more about how we can help you enhance productivity and increase your profits. Choose today to take control of your business. Unleash your potential and let your vision come to life with Acumatica. Find out more at Cortex.com.